Welcome to our video on Mastering CSS. Today, we're tackling a unique challenge that many developers encounter when working with Flexbox and images. Our viewer asks how to maintain a perfect one-on-one -on -one aspect ratio for elements while ensuring that images cover them completely, even when the images are of different sizes. Let's dive into the specifics of this intriguing question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To maintain a one-to-one -one aspect ratio for our images using Flexbox, we need to ensure that the parent element is styled correctly. First, we will set the display property of the row to Flex. Next, we will style the anchor elements to ensure they are circular. We will use border radius set to 50% and apply overflow hidden to hide any overflowing image parts. Now, we will ensure that the images fill their parent elements completely. We will use the object fit property set to cover, which allows the image to maintain its aspect ratio while filling the element. Finally, we will adjust the span elements to maintain the circular shape. We will set their height to zero and use padding bottom to create a responsive square that maintains a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To maintain a consistent aspect ratio using Flexbox, you can use the padding bottom hack. By setting padding bottom to 100%, you create a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. This works because percentage padding is based on the parent element's width. Apply this technique to the IMG Gallery Span class. Remember to set the height to zero since it's no longer needed. This allows for flexible content sizing while keeping the aspect ratio intact. Here's a proof of concept example showcasing how to implement this in your CSS. The code includes styles for the image gallery and ensures images maintain their aspect ratio. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.